Regarding atheism, I want to talk about my family and how I was raised. I was raised by two very loving math professors in southern New Mexico. They both had a little bit of a religious background, especially my father who was raised in East Texas. So as you can imagine, it was a very strict Baptist community. And needless to say, he was intelligent enough to escape that and no longer will go to church, not even really on holidays. My mother grew up going to church, but it wasn't anything really strict, I don't believe. She had a prior marriage, and they attended church. And when the bowl was passed around, they couldn't always afford to give money. And apparently it was looked down upon. And I'm sure there are other reasons too, but they stopped going to church. Um, she was widowed and then met my father, eventually. Um, in our household, we, we do celebrate Christmas, Easter, Thanksgiving, and, well, sort of in an agnostic kind of way, I guess. Baloney. I like your fish. Let's see. So let me describe what it's like to have Christmas at my parents' house. Every year, my bro my two brothers and my sister and I and my parents and nieces and whoever has boyfriends at the time, we all have stockings awaiting Santa Claus's arrival, including Baloney. She even has a stocking, including my mother and father. They even have stockings. So we have a vast array of stockings with our names on it waiting underneath the fireplace. Um, no, you don't really need a fireplace in southern New Mexico. It's kind of more for decoration and to give some kind of a vibe. So we light a fire and whoever's sitting closest to it gets kind of hot. Uh, we have a Christmas tree and my mother even sometimes sets up a manger as in Jesus and an angel or two and three wise men. Uh, when we were little, my brother and I used to kind of argue over where they, where the little figurines should go, and I always wanted to put the angel up on the stairs. My brother wanted to put it somewhere else. Didn't really understand what it was. I think my mom explained that they were the three wise men, and then that was Jesus. And anyway, didn't really, didn't really mean a whole lot. I remember she did set it up last year again, <laughs> but. It's not a religious holiday for us at all. My dad will point to the huge pile of presents under the tree and say, See, Christmas is an economic holiday, not a religious holiday. And we actually exchanged quite a few atheist books. Usually we give, when we give presents, a, quite a few political books go back and forth. Um... <laughs> My dad will give my brother, one of my brothers who's pretty liberal, uh, Ann Coulter books, and my brother David will give my, my dad, like, Hillary's new book or whatever. It's pretty funny. Um, but this year we exchanged a few different atheist books. It's kind of surprising, and I was happy about it. Uh, anyway, so sometimes I say things like happy solstice or whatever instead of Merry Christmas and at Easter I'll say happy Jesus zombie day I don't really celebrate Easter anymore but as children we we definitely celebrated Easter which meant getting a chocolate bunny and basket in the morning and then hunting for Easter eggs and making movies there's countless movies of us running around in the backyard looking for eggs no one ever mentioned, you know, we never mentioned Jesus. So, you know, it could have been a spring equinox celebration. It's just that as atheists or agnostics or whatever we claimed to be, there are no holidays other than maybe the seasons changing. It's kind of sad. We have to, we don't have to, but we... We choose to celebrate these other holidays kind of in our own way as family gatherings. Yeah, I wish it was different. I wish we really had our own 
holidays. It's going to be a ways off before that really happens. So, let's see what else. And Thanksgiving. That's all about just eating. Making a big old meal and the guys watching football. So, I but I can't imagine a happier time and a more close-knit family gathering than Christmas. Christmas really stands out because every single year other than one year when we were all together in Hawaii uh, and I think and then there was one year in 1978 we were in Colorado we've always gathered at my parents house for Christmas um, and it's just happy times happy times so part of me wishes that we atheists had our own holidays, completely separate and unrelated that from the Christian holidays. But everybody knows that that these holidays came from pagan holidays. Some, you know, had pagan roots. I think Easter even had Babylonian roots. Um, I'm no historian, and you can look all this stuff up very easily on the internet. So I won't go into vast detail, but uh, I believe Christmas started when um, Roman, early Roman Christians wanted to kind of overtake uh, the pagan holidays of the time uh, that were either winter solstice celebrations or indeed there were other gods and goddesses that had their birthday on December 25th. I believe there were a whole slew of various gods that had the December 25th birthday, you know, before Jesus Christ was born. Um, so that really, obviously, has to be some connection there. So, maybe why not overtake the holidays, kind of slowly, subtly take these holidays back. And maybe, in a way, families like mine are contributing to that. We still use a Christmas tree, and we still use some of the traditions that were left over from pagan times, so certainly a Christmas tree has nothing to do with Jesus Christ and Christianity, other than that's what um, current Christians use for their holidays, but like I said, it has its different roots. So we should have a celebration of baloney once a year. And maybe, well, Bologna's birthday is July 1st, so how about that? I propose that to be an atheist holiday. What do you think, Bologna? Is that a good idea or what? Yay! Love knows no season, love knows no climb. Romance can blossom any old time. Here in the open, we're walking and hoping together Slay does rain